One Center County child is on a mission to help children fighting cancer all over the world. Emily Whitehead was just five years old and she was diagnosed with leukemia in 2010. She became one of the first kids enrolled in an experimental cell therapy that saved her life. Emily's now nearing three years cancer free. As Lauren Hensley found out, she's sharing her story to help inspire others. Lauren? Mel, Emily Whitehead, she is living proof that miracles do happen. She, along with her family, have created the Emily Whitehead Foundation. Their goal is to spread the word about this progressive treatment and also raise money to help those who are also battling pediatric cancer. She is very funny. She makes us laugh all the time. And she's um, very smart. She's very creative and artistic. She loves to draw and write. Emily Whitehead sounds like a typical nine-year-old. She likes Legos, spending time with her parents, playing with her dog, and is learning how to play the piano. But at just five years old, she was diagnosed with leukemia. The odds of beating cancer looked good. Doctors recommended 26 months of chemo, but shortly after, it took a turn for the worse. We found out that she relapsed, which is really rare. It doesn't happen that a child relapses while still on treatment. So we knew that we were dealing with something that um, was different. After her second relapse, the Whiteheads were told they were out of options, but this family was not willing to give up and contacted the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Emily became the first child to be given a radical treatment called T-cell therapy. The trial was, was exactly what we were looking for because it used her own immune system to fight cancer. Now, Emily is nearly three years cancer free. Her family has created the Emily Whitehead Foundation to help raise money to invest in the most promising pediatric cancer research. Emily says this foundation is important because it could help save other children. Because then they'll get to have fun. With the success and the breakthrough uh, that they had with Emily's treatment, um, we know now that there's a revolution that could lead to the end of cancer. Emily's story captured the heart of America, including President Barack Obama, who invited her to the White House just last week. Please excuse Emily from the school she was with me. So after beating cancer and meeting the president, what's next for this nine-year-old? Hmm. Traveling, lots of traveling. What a very ambitious young lady. Now to learn more about that experimental therapy she went through, head over to our website. We'll have more information on that, along with information about the foundation and ways you can donate. Reporting live in the Center County Newsroom, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.